what's up guys today i'm going to show you how to do this wave wipe transition so for this tutorial to work really well you're going to need a good shot of a wave coming across the screen with a nice kind of like whitewash effect this is actually a video clip i found on youtube um, a bit of free stock footage there's actually a lot of video clips like this on youtube so if you're missing a shot for your edit then you can always find it on youtube which is really cool i'll leave the link to this one down below Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is go to this part where the wave is kind of halfway across the screen. And then I'm going to go to my effects tab over here. And I'm going to look for the keying effect and I'm going to use the luma key effect. So now I'm going to go up here to the parameters and drag this one down to here and move this one up just until I get rid of all of the blue. And we've got a nice like white wave here and I'm going to turn luma roll off right up get rid of a bit more of that and it doesn't matter if you still have a little bit here because we're going to use a draw mask tool to um, completely get rid of that so you're mainly looking for like a clean line here with no water or or anything in the shot okay so that looks pretty good I'm going to open up map tools I normally shrink it a tiny bit to get rid of the blue like outline on the wave and then you can like soften it if you want a soft look. I normally put that up a tiny bit and that's pretty much it. I'm going to hide that for now. Okay, next step, I'm going to copy and paste this on top of here. Okay, so on this top shot, what I'm going to do is add a draw mask effect. So I'm going to go over here to effects. I'm going to go to masks, draw mask. I'm just going to add that to the top shot. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit and I'm just going to draw, roughly draw around the white part of the wave like that. You don't want to make it too detailed because um, we've got like room to work with and you're going to have to move these a little bit as well. So uh, it's going to be easier the less points you make. And then two points over here. And then I'm going to turn off the Luma key. Actually, we can go ahead and just delete that. And then you can see the wave is kind of all full now. So I'm going to go up here to transform. I'm going to open this up on the draw mask effect. I'm going to hit the keyframe button on position, rotation, scale, and also on control points. And then I'm just going to skip through the frames using the right and left arrow key. I'm going to skip a few frames at a time and then just move this mask back so it stays on the white part of the wave. Okay, so I've done the first part. And now I'm going to move forward and do the rest. I'm going to move forward and do the rest of it. Okay, so that's that mask part done. And that's how it should look throughout the whole frame. Okay, so next step, what I'm going to do is add a draw mask effect to the bottom shot. So just select your bottom shot, go over to masks, go draw mask and drag that on. And now what we're going to do is mask out this side of the wave. So I'm just going to draw around the white part of my wave here. Just like that. I'm going to click invert. And now you can see this part of the screen is uh, all clear. So we're going to go over to transform, hit the keyframe button on those three and then also control points like we did before and then just scroll through the whole of the shot uh, backwards and forwards until the whole mask is complete okay so what i have noticed is that we've still got a bit of blue sea here um, ahead of the wave so what we can do is just go to the luma key and just make it a bit stronger and get rid of those bits of blue just like that okay and now i'm going to finish the rest of the rest of the mask on the bottom shot cool and now we have the all the masks done and you can play it back to see how it looks that looks pretty good now what you want to do is select these two and turn them into a compound clip so just select them both, right click, and go to new compound clip. Okay, and now you can 
put your video clip underneath this one. So you want to put your video clip underneath it. And then if we play that back, you have the wave coming on over the shot underneath. Cool, and there you go, that's it. That's the wave wipe transition. I tried this on a couple of other shots and it actually worked really well, this method. So yeah, I'll leave the link down below to the uh, free stock footage if you wanna go and download that and give it a go yourself. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you in the next video.